Hi, this is Shelley from Miami Physiotherapy and Lakelands Physiotherapy, and this is Bob, he's our skeleton. So we're going to talk about the quadratus lumborum muscle today, we just call it the, the QL normally. And where it is is on your back, so I'll just turn Bob around here. So where it attaches is from this part here, which we call the iliac crest, so it's the back part of your pelvis. It attaches into the side parts here of these vertebrae, so one to five of your lumbar spine, and then into the, the 12th rib here. So you've got one sitting here, and you've got one sitting on this side here. Now what this muscle does is if one side works only, then what it's gonna make you do is bend down sideways. If both of these muscles work at the same time, it's gonna make you arch backwards. So they're the main things. Has a couple of extra things it does. It actually in standing helps you to hitch a hip if it works on one side. And another action that it does is it actually helps with your breathing. So by controlling your ribs here, it, it aids your diaphragm breathing. Now the problem is, if you've got some issues with this muscle, if this muscle becomes very tight, it becomes a source of back pain. And we see a lot of patients who have tightness through this area, they get trigger points and really sore areas in this area, and it does become quite a problem for them. How does this muscle get tight? It's normally a postural problem. So if, if you're spending a lot of time sitting in a computer chair, at a desk, those sorts of jobs, this muscle will overwork, particularly if you've got some weakness in your other back muscles and some weakness in your core. So that's a lot of people that we see. The other issue that we get with this muscle is it overworks if you're weak in your glutes. So if your glute medius and glute minimus, which are your hip stabilizers, aren't doing their job, you will now start to use this back muscle to help to hitch and lift sideways instead of your bum. So again, it's gonna cause some tightness. So what do we do? Come and see us, that's the first thing you need to do and then we can sort this out and make sure it is the problem that you've got and not something else. But you can stretch this muscle. So I'm going to show you today one of my favourite stretches to stretch out this muscle. So we'll come down onto the floor. Now the easiest way to do this is have, I've got very tight hamstrings, so you can keep the legs a little bit bent like this. One leg's bent up and you're going to hook your hand onto the inside part of your foot here on your leg that's out. Now this hand is going to pivot on here and you're going to turn away and you're going to use this arm to pull, you're going to use this hand to push and that's going to stretch. So that's giving me a really nice stretch in this muscle group here. I'm going to turn around and hold that and I'm going to hold that for at least 30 seconds if not longer. So then you do the same thing on the other side and give it a good stretch out. Hot packs will help as well and you can do some rollering but we can address all those issues with you in a, a program designed especially for you if this is your issue. Hope that's been helpful. See you next time.